Welcome back, ocean lovers. We're diving deep into the world of one of the ocean's most fearsome predators, the Barracuda. With its sleek, silvery body and razor-sharp teeth, this fish strikes fear into the hearts of many, and for good reasons. Cuda, as it is popularly known, is almost as fast as a bullet. This carnivorous saltwater fish is usually found in the tropics or subtropics. Join wild nature as we explore the predatory ways of barracudas. Remember to like and subscribe for more awesome content from the wild nature. Barracudas are apex predators found in tropical and subtropical waters around the world. With their torpedo-like bodies, impressive speed and agility, they're perfectly adapted for hunting in the vast expanse of the ocean. Kudas are one of the few celebrity fishes we have in the ocean. We have cocktails, sport teams, and even companies named after this fearsome fish because of its renowned reputation. But what sets them apart from other predators is their reputation for being aggressive even towards humans. Their lethal attack begins with impressive speed and their sharp teeth slicing through preys with ease. They could remain dangerous even after death as their flesh could contain toxins. Barracudas are happy to be alone, but sometimes they like to move in groups called a school. Traveling in groups help protect them from their natural predators, which includes dolphins, killer whales and sharks. Kudas are carnivorous and dangerous fishes that primarily feed on smaller fishes like horse mackerel, sardines and the likes, using their lightning fast bursts of speed to ambush their prey. Their sharp teeth and powerful jaws make quick work of their victims, tearing through flesh. Barracudas are opportunistic feeders, meaning they'll go after anything that looks like a potential meal. Unfortunately, this can sometimes include humans, especially in areas where barracudas have become accustomed to being fed by divers or fishermen. Kudas belong to the family Sphyrinidae and scientifically referred to as Sphyrena. There are quite a few species of barracudas, ranging in color and size. Some of the species includes the black-tailed barracuda, the yellow-tailed barracuda and the great barracuda. Although they look different, they practically live the same way. The great barracuda is the largest of all the species. It has the potential to grow up to 6.5 feet and weigh over 50 kilos. Adult barracudas like to move and hunt independently while their babies go in schools. The fish's thin body facilitates speedy movement in and around the coral reefs. Just like other fishes, kudas reproduce by spawning, and they do this between April and October yearly. Female barracudas grow larger than the male, and some of the female can lay up to 400,000 eggs to be fertilized by the male once released in the water. Barracudas usually lay ambush for their preys, since they are quick swimmers and would rather not endure long-distance swimming chasing. While barracuda attacks on humans are rare, they do occur, often resulting from a combination of factors such as mistaken identity, territorial behaviors, or provoked aggression. Their attack can cause significant damage in humans like tissue destruction, bleeding, and injuries. An attack on a human might be due to mistaking a shiny thing on them for a little fish or plain old curiosity. However, over the years, there has been several reports of catastrophic encounters involving the tiger of the sea, the barracuda. Some of these encounters even led to the death of its victims. Although such disastrous attacks are rare and easily preventable by simply following some precautional rules of engagements, we have had different stories of barracudas darting at snorkelers out of nowhere because they can swim as fast as 40-60 miles an hour during an attack, leaving them barely any time to react before it snaps at their hand, leaving a nasty gash. It will happen so fast that most people are left shocked as to how a fish could do that. Stories like these serve as a reminder of the importance of respecting wildlife and understanding their behavior. While barracudas are magnificent creatures, they are wild animals and should be treated with caution and respect, especially when encountering them in their natural habitat. When a cuda successfully catches a prey, it uses two different teeth for the first. The first one holds the prey in a firm grip, while the second one cuts through it like a saw. 
The yellow-tailed snapper is their main source of nutrient and favorite prey. Their most distinguished attribute is their strong jaws. They can sever a herring in half within seconds. The jaws protrude as they swim and is usually partially open to display their sharp teeth. Barracudas are quick to identify fish that are weak to serve as prey also, fishes trapped in hooks. They might not consume their preys in whole. They hunt wide range of animals, even the ones with strong defenses and tears them to pieces. Cudas are very aggressive during a hunt and could be quite competitive. Sometimes they even steal food from other predators like dolphins. Barracudas are probably the only fish that dares to devour an adult lionfish despite the venomous spines on their fins. It may be that they are immune to the venoms. Their only source of food is not hunting though. They also eat carrions and carcass here and there. Apart from hunting this fish for fishing sport, some people aim to use as food. However, the consumption this aquatic animal could be a cause of ciguatera, which is a form of food poisoning categorized by the consumption of contaminated fish. On their own, Barracudas are not toxic, but cigua toxins live on the surface of tropical and subtropical corals, and when herbivorous fishes eat these toxins, it is stored in their stomachs. Predatory fishes consume these fishes, so when humans eat them, they are exposed to cigua toxins, and humans are unfortunately less tolerant of toxins than fish. The only way to avoid this toxin that would not even go away after cooking is to avoid predatory fishes including the barracuda, sharks and the likes. Despite their predatory nature, barracudas play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of marine ecosystems. As top predators, they help control the populations of smaller fish, preventing them from overpopulating and wreaking havoc on coral reefs and other habitats. The population of these fishes have been growing steady. However, there are laws as to how many barracudas a person can catch at a time to ensure the continuous existence of these ocean wonders. So, the next time you find yourself exploring and marveling at the ocean, keep an eye out for these sleek predators, but remember to admire them from a safe distance. After all, in the vast and mysterious world beneath the waves, Every creature plays a vital role in the intricate web of life. That's all for today, ocean lovers. I hope you've gained a newfound appreciation for the beauty and power of barracudas. Until next time, keep exploring and respecting the wonders of the deep blue sea. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing content. Thanks for watching.